Good evening. Hi, my name is Mr. Trewin and welcome to our virtual open house. I will be teaching geometry with statistics pre-AP this year and uh, don't let the pre-AP scare you. It just, we are using one curriculum for both our honors and our regular this year, kind of a blended between the two and we're calling it pre-AP. This is kind of a new thing with our school district and we'll be using a curriculum that kind of is prescribed by the pre-AP plan. Uh, when it comes to textbooks, I want to let you know right away that we do not have an actual set textbook. We use curriculum notes that are provided to us through the pre-AP uh, plan, and when we do that, basically we have a handout coming out every day. So the, that's going to kind of take the place of an actual textbook. So I know that's the first thing that most people would ask me in an open house. What's this pre-AP, and why don't we have a textbook? So I want to get right in there and jump in and take those two things right off the table. Um, things I want to let you know as a parent, how to get a hold of me. Most importantly, if you have questions about your son or daughter's uh, performance in a class, always use Focus. Please, please, please use Focus. There is a Pinellas County School app now called Focus you can get for your phone. I use it with my two daughters at home. It's great. It lets me, it gives me a snapshot of how my child is doing and it tells me if they're tardy to class. It tells me if they're missing school. It tells me if they get what their grade is. It doesn't break down everything about their grade, but it does give me a quick snapshot and it lets me know that as a dad, as a parent, that hey, maybe I need to find out what's going on. So just so you know, try to think about, you know, go on that app store and get the Pinellas County Schools Focus app. It's great. I use it every day with my kids. Well, not every day, but I use it a lot with my kids just to see how they're doing. And sometimes things will come up and I'll be like, whoa, what's going on? And that uh, app lets me know. So if you have a question though about anything with me, please email me at treewinw at pcsb.org. I will be honest, when it comes to emailing back, it's gonna be at the end of the day. I try to check my emails at the end of the day before I go home. It's not as instant as I would like it to be. So if you're trying to tell me that your son or daughter's not there, I might not get that until the end of the day. So just please be patient on that. If you want a way to get a hold of me much faster or let me know about situations where maybe your son or daughter's at home, on the instant, I'll tell you what I will do. I, I always have my phone in my pocket and I always have, I'm always quick to answer text messages. So if you wanna get involved with text messaging me, you can join my Remind group. And this is really easy. If you just open your text messages on your phone and send a text message to the number 81010. So instead of writing 727 and whoever's phone number, at the top, just write 81010. And in the message bar, just type in the code at Trewin2122 and you will enroll yourself in my geometry class text messaging group. So every time I send a text message out to all my students and say, hey, don't forget about maybe the test on Friday or don't forget to get that homework due, you'll get that message just like your son or daughter will. So if you're interested in that, one more time, it's called Remind. It's a very popular thing that we use in all, all, lots of our classes and a lot with our sports. So you can get the app, but if you don't want to get the app, just simply send a text message to 81010 and put at tree 2122 And you'll have everything you need to know. Like when it comes to messaging me, you'll be able to right there on the phone, message Mr. Tree and say, hey, you know, guess what? We got, we got a situation. We might've had an exposure or we got a flu or we got whatever. Gonna be home for a couple days. Can you, you know, make sure you send home more? You can use Remind to do that and I'll get it instantly. Just like if we have a, I woke up late and we're coming in, can I get the homework? You know, this is how you do it, just use Remind. If you wanna email me though, I do get it, but it just, it's at the end of the day, cause I gotta, it's a, it's a fast paced day being a teacher. You're all over the place and sitting down and reading emails is unfortunately not something that we get a lot of time to do other than our planning period. So text messaging, I'm all out and about I always grab that phone and go, oh, okay. So sometimes I'll have parents, they'll say, oh, my kid's out today, can you send me, what are they doing? And I can send a quick picture of exactly what they're doing and they can work off of that picture and say, follow along if you will. I also wanna let you know that I have a YouTube page. So my YouTube page is, and I'm gonna write my YouTube channel name down. I have a YouTube channel, and let's write it right here, it's Scott, Trewin. If you go on YouTube and look up Scott Trewin, you will find my YouTube channel. I made a YouTube video for every single lesson in the book last year because of the whole COVID situation and helping kids at home. 
So I'm going to be using those videos a lot as a resource for our students. So if your student is having a hard time, they might be able to go out there and look up something on YouTube. Well, look at my channel. In fact, if you can subscribe, that'd be great. I don't get any money for this. It's not a monetary channel. I don't have ads. It's just simply my channel. But the more people that subscribe, obviously that'll help me share this out to more people. So please consider joining my channel or subscribing to it. It's Scott Trewin on YouTube. So that's another resource that I want to put together for you. I'm going to give you a lot of information in this video. You might need to watch it twice and guess where you're going to be watching it because I'm going to put it on canvas, but you're going to be watching YouTube because I use my YouTube channel to do this. So anyways, please keep in mind the old YouTube channel. Lots of information there. There's like 60 videos covering every single thing we did this year or last year in geometry. And we're going to be using a lot of new stuff, but I'll tell you what, geometry don't change. It's the same stuff, you know, maybe got a new face on it, but it's the same concept. So please keep that in mind. That's my YouTube. And then I want to let you know that everything that we will be doing this year is going to be in a geometry composition notebook that looks like this. So if you have concerns about your student's grade, you look at your student's grade, before you fire off that first email to me, maybe take a moment to just check and see what this notebook looks like. Because if they don't have this notebook, that's a big concern. Because everything we do in this school year goes in this notebook. This is a play-by-play -play of every single day in this class. Everything I do from the very, every set of notes that we hand out, everything goes in there, we glue it in there. And it's an interactive notebook, but it also, is a play-by-play -play of every day. So if they say, oh, I don't have a notebook, there should be some serious concern because we have a notebook. Everything we do every single day gets glued in this notebook. I've got these boxes right here in this classroom. If you were here to see them, you'd see that we got all of the stuff, glue sticks and colored markers and protractors and compasses and rulers and stuff. So if they say, I don't have a notebook, we've got some serious concerns. Everything goes in the notebook and all the grades that you just see in the grade book coincide with things in this notebook. It's a play by play of every day of this school year. It's going to be chronicled in this notebook. If you want to help me out, if you're looking to donate, you're looking to feel like chipping in on the class, these notebooks can be found at Walmart. They can be found at Staples, Office Depot. They normally cost 50 cents to a dollar. I would love any donations because we're going to burn through a lot of these this year. It's probably going to take each kid two or three to get through geometry this year. And so far, I've only got enough to get us through the first quarter. So if you're feeling uh, like you want to chip in, I would really appreciate it. I don't even care if you get the college ruled or the uh, wide ruled. We're using it just to put things in there and glue it. It don't matter what kind of font you got. So if you're interested, please go out to Walmart. Please go to Target, wherever they sell them. They have lots of them at these Office Depot places and stuff, and they were selling them for 50 cents last week at Walmart. So if you want to feel, jump in and send a few my way, I'd greatly appreciate it, I really would. Um, and then the last thing I want to go over in this video, and I know this is a lot of information, but I want to make sure I cover everything. The most important thing is that every single thing that we do in this class, every single day of the week, will be posted on Canvas. So if your son or daughter misses a school day, that's not a big deal. If they go on campus, Canvas, third time, Canvas, if they go on Canvas, the worksheet or the notes that we handed out or the activity we handed out, I post that every single day. I scan a PDF and attach it to that page. So they can go day by day on that calendar, which is a day by day in here. So we kind of fail safe just in case there's a day by day at the back of the room. If you were here, you'd see it of a calendar. But you go on the Canvas application and every single thing will be posted every single day that we do. So there's none of this whole situation where say, well, my teacher, he hasn't got back to me. He didn't show, tell me what to do, so I can't do my work. No, 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 no. All the assignments, all the notes are posted every day digitally I scan a copy and put it on Canvas every day of the week. So every single day of the week is on there. It's actually really easy to do. So I do it every day. I'm actually I'm nine for nine on days so far. Now, on that, I also attach, you'll see when you go to the certain days of the week, I'll also be putting links to YouTube videos. And those YouTube videos are my YouTube videos that go over those lessons. 
These are not long lessons. They might be boring because I can't imagine I'm the most exciting guy in the world, but those videos are just short, 15 minutes or less videos about what we are doing in the concept. And I just do example problems and talk about all the different things. You're gonna find that on Canvas. So as a parent, jump out, jump in there and see, say, hey, show me that Canvas page to your son or daughter and let them look at my page. You look at it, check it out. Every day though, you're gonna see the videos, you're gonna see assignments, you're gonna see important things. So I like to keep everything I, I, I am all about organization with the notebook and the canvas in the back of the classroom. There's a big giant agenda that looks like canvas. Everything's there for you. Please take advantage of it. I appreciate it a lot if you would, because most things can be dealt with and most things can be treated right there on the scene. If we just jump on canvas or we get on remind and you give me a quick message and um, please visit my YouTube channel. You'll find a lot of remedial things there. If you do need some after school tutoring, I have after school tutoring in this classroom. Other math teachers from our school will be coming in to help. And we run a large scale math tutoring center in here, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays from two o'clock to three o'clock. And it's an hour long and you, the kids do not need to make an appointment. You do not need permission to show up. Roll in any day of the week. No need to schedule anything. Just come on in and grab a seat. We normally have about 20 to 30 kids a day in here. Some kids need my help. Some kids don't need my help, they just need a quiet place to work and they come on in, grab a desk, have a snack and sit down and do the work. I offer that in this classroom Tuesdays, Wednesdays and Thursdays from two to three. Please encourage your child to come if they're having a hard time in geometry. Um, other than that, I hope I've answered every single thing about this class that I could possibly answer for to now. I um, look forward to eventually meeting all of you and I've already met most of all my students. I think I've pretty much met them all at this point and I've really enjoyed the group I've got. So hopefully we'll have a great school year. Um, well, hopefully a lot better than last year. I, I missed not seeing all the students last year. I was being at home, having the kids at home was a little bit harder. I didn't really get to know them all last year. And I really like doing this, so I really like getting to know them. So uh, other than that, that's it for me. If you have any questions, you know how to get a hold of me, email me, remind me, or get on the canvas and you can message off of there. All right, thank you.